everyone, it's me again, Teacher Marge, and welcome back to my video. Now, we will add again two digits to two digits numerals by using horizontal form. Horizontal form means the numbers or numerals from left to right. Okay, let's try an example. First one, 37, now plus 89. Okay, so in horizontal form, it is the same thing. This one is in the tens place, the other one is ones place, here tens and ones. So, in horizontal form, you need to add this number, once and once, and another one, tens to tens. So, let's have an example. For example, I am going to write 53 plus 44. Okay, so like what I've said, Five or determine or just identify their place value. So five in tens place, three in ones place, four in tens place, and four in ones place. Add, add the numbers in the same place value. So three plus four is seven. So you must have a space. Okay, because like what I've said, you should start with one's place. So, 3 plus 4 is 7. 5 here plus 4 is 9. So, the answer is 97. Uh, let's try another one. So, we have here um, 25 plus 62. Here is the tens place. Here is ones, tens, and ones. So let's try. 5 plus 2 is equal to, I'll make a space and write 7. 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. Okay, so that is an example of horizontal form. What if we are going to add horizontal form? in uh, using regrouping okay regrouping so let's have an example so i am going to change color okay for example i have here 24 plus 57 so if you already master how to add these by their places now, in regrouping, it is the same thing. So, 2 in 10s, 4 in 1s, 5 in 10s, 7 in 1s. Okay. Now, in regrouping, it is the same thing. So, we have here 4. Should add to 7. You will get what? 4 plus 7, you will get 11, right? So, 11 have 2 digits so 1 or 11 have 1 in tens and 1 in ones so 1 will be remain here in ones place and 1 here will be in carry over yes that one is what we call carry over why we need to regroup it means like 11 1 is in or have one digit and here means have 10 digits do you think they are the same no so you need to separate the ones place and the tens place okay so we carry over one here so we need to add the tens place 1 plus 2 equals 3. 3 plus 5 equals 
A. Correct. Well, let's try another one. So we have here 79. Oh my gosh, it's too big. Plus 64. So add again 9 plus 4 is equal to 13. 3 in 1s, 1 in 10s. So write 3 here and write 1 in the carryover. That is regrouping. You need to separate the 1s place to 10s place. Now let's write here. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 6 is 14. Oh, 14 now. Now, as you can see, 4 here is in the tens place and here is in the hundreds place. Okay, so here in this number or this example, we don't have the hundreds place. So, it means we can write 14 here in the final answer. Why? Because there is no hundreds place to put 1 as a carry over. Another example, okay, like 35 plus 69, okay, so add again, add the ones place to ones place, 5 plus 9 is equal to what? So it means 5 plus 9 is equal to 14. 4 in 1s, 1 in 10s. So we have here 4, carry over 1, 1 plus 3 plus 6. It is equal to 10. I'm going to write 10 here in the final answer. You understand? Okay, final example. So we have here 78 plus 95. So add again, 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. Carry over 1. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 9 is 17. And that is the final answer. So this video, I teach you how to add numbers in horizontal form. I am going to give you some exercises so you can practice at home. Always remember, practice makes perfect. Thank you so much for your listening. I hope you enjoyed this video and please share it to your friend. Thank you.